Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about ammunition specific failures that AK pattern rifles can encounter. Although, albeit very uncommon, it does have the potential to happen. Before we start, I don't have enough snap caps for this demonstration, so I'm going to be using what was once live ammunition. So the first malfunction we're going to be talking about is the failure to feed. So, basically a round has been stripped off, it was heading on its way into the chamber, but the shoulder got hung up and prevented the bolt closing on it. So a quick way to fix this is to just take a little bit of tension on it, keep the rifle vertical, you'll notice the round falls down, and it goes into battery just fine. You can run into an issue where if you were to bring this back all the way and try to chamber another round, you'll run into a double feed. This can also happen with the head of the case dipping down into the magazine, although this is less common because the magazine pressure helps to keep that from happening. Number two, the double feed. So in this instance, we have two bolts trying to go in the same hole. Real simple way to fix this. So just get the magazine out of there and clear it. And hopefully they just should fall out through the bottom. Here is going to be another version of the double feed. In this instance, we have a round in the chamber with another round who also wants to be in said chamber. This is dangerous because as you can see, the tip of the bullet although not on the primer, is awfully close. My preferred method to get rid of this, if you're just willy-nilly on the range, is to simply take tension off of that first round, take the magazine out, and hopefully you can just pull the next one out. Number four on this list is going to be a stovepipe. So this may or may not be more complicated depending on where that ejected case, or rather unejected case, gets stuck. But usually it's just up in the front here. It's simply as simple as just getting rid of it, and then assessing, do I have a round on the way? Should I let it forward or should I remove the magazine and basically just start over and clear the weapon? The next one is simply a failure to battery. So this one, very easy to duplicate here. We're just going to ease it up on there. And as you can see, we have a round in the chamber, but the bolt's simply not gone forward enough. The best thing to do if you know you have one of these is to simply just make sure the bolt goes home. Then you can strip off around and it continues as usual. The worst thing you can do in this instance is go, contrary to what some people might think, is to go ram another round because now you can see you have a double feed here. So it's very important to look at what's going on before you just decide to rack another one in because you may be causing a jam that is more serious than you might have had. The first of the deadly reloads is a stuck case. So this could be a live case. It's most usually one that's already been fired, likely because of overpressure ammunition or some other cause. But basically in a nutshell, the case is stuck in the chamber and for whatever reason, the extractor alone cannot get it out. So that might be because it's just very stuck in there as stated before or perhaps the edge of the rim where the extractor grabs has been ripped off. Effectively, if mortaring does not work, there is no way to fix a stuck case. Second of the deadly failures would be a case head separation. This is kind of in the same ballpark as a failure to extract or a blown case or a ruptured case, but specifically a case head separation would be where you still have the uppermost part of the cartridge case stuck inside the chamber, but just specifically the case head is blown off. This again would be one of those uh, deadly failures because no amount of working the bolt or anything is going to get the gun back in action. It's basically toast at this point. Another thing that might likely have happened in the process of a case head separation is the weapon also having a basically an explosion in the chamber from all those ha gases escaping out of the ruptured case. This usually blows up your magazine, blows up the rifle, or some effect. Really, really, really bad thing to happen. The third of the deadly failures would be a little bit more subtle, but likely the cause of uh, trying to clear a jam improperly and therefore causing a much more serious one that cannot simply be fixed by just running the bolt and, as mentioned, removing the magazine and clearing the weapon. This is what I would call a live round or a case being stuck inside the action. So as you can see, bolts all the way back here. Now, again, very, very unlikely this happened. Never happened to me. But as you notice, I can slip boop, one right down in there. Bolt closes just fine. And in fact, as you will notice, 
pardon that, the rifle can still fire with that in there. So you think, well, the weapon's still effective, right? Not quite. Now we are really in trouble. As you can see, that's a mess. Again, super unlikely to happen. A lot of these types of failures are very unlikely to happen. The AK is a very reliable weapon if you take care of it and if you have a good quality built one, as goes with most anything. But there is that possibility. Now, this is not one of the deadly failures, but this one potentially could evolve into one. This one is also the most common, which is why you have to be very careful for it. I've actually had this one happen to myself. And it's also very, very simple. So what's that? It's simply just the failure to fire. So, and what happens with this one, you go to pull the trigger. Uh-oh, didn't go off. So you should always wait at least 15 seconds or more. I usually go for about a minute. You never know. Always want to be on the safe side. It might just be that the primer didn't go off for whatever reason, or maybe there's not any powder in the case. And the simplest solution is to just get it out of there and get another round in, and you're good to go. Simple as that. It was just a dud. Now, the tenth and final failure on this list, which, as mentioned, is similar to or in the same category of the failure to fire, would be the squib. So, very bad, and you should always check whenever the gun does not go bang, extract the case, because you can have this instance. I've had something very similar to it. I'll get to that in a second. But what happens basically with this, we chamber a live round, goes click, we go to extract it, and suddenly, even though it didn't go bang, there's no more bullet on it. So what's happened there with the squib? This would count into that list of deadly failures most certainly, the bullet is lodged somewhere in the chamber. And so what happens next, if we are not careful, is you go to chamber another round, and this time when you go to pull the trigger, the gun goes kaboom. And not in a good way. I mean, the gun explodes, you have a catastrophic failure, you get hurt or killed, and the gun is most certainly out of commission. The squib could be caused because of two reasons. The instance where I had a squib was, for whatever reason, the factory ammunition, the bullet was just a little thick, or my chamber's a little tight. I went to chamber said round, and when I went to extract the dud, it pulled the bullet off and it left the bullet in the throat. So normally that shouldn't happen, but I should add, that can happen. Likely what happens with the squib is you have a case with no powder in it, but the primer still works. So what happens when you go click, you might hear maybe just a click. It might be an odd pop noise. It might be nothing at all. But the primer kicks that bullet into the chamber, but not far enough out the barrel. One of those serious deadly things because you really want to pay attention with it. And especially on an auto-loading weapon, it might be easy to totally discount that. So if you enjoyed me mucking around with my rattle canned AK, be sure to give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't, if you like this kind of content, and be sure to leave some comments. What do you guys think? These are just 10. Do you, if you notice some more failures, these are only the ones that I could think of and or have seen. Be sure to leave your experiences or opinions in the comment, and let's get some feedback going on this video. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you all are doing great.